So I've just signed in to my Plex account. Now, there's nothing in here. I actually have two Plex Media's servers. I can see one here, and this is my new one. Now I want to add my libraries. Okay. So, first of all, I want to add just the test library. We're going to call it Films. So this used to be called Movies from Memory, um, but I think Films is probably more generic. So whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'll leave that for you to decide. Um, and it seems to depend on what um, account you're signing in on as well to what's available. So it doesn't seem to be standardized and I don't know why. But anyway, let's go with this. And we can change it to movies anyway. So let's call it movies. Set our default language. Next. Now, this is where it threw me again. So, this here, this path is the jail path. And if you go back here to the storage, to the jail storage, and we browse, you can see that it's actually referencing this directory. Right, so it's already way down the path within the jail. So we want to back that right back. So we just basically delete all of this. We want to go right up to the root and just put media. So that's the path that we want. And again, you can see that here. That's the path that we want, media. Okay, so that's where the linkage is. Okay, so we go add, add library, and that's where we can now see a folder. And this is unknown because it's something that we've I've just created. Basically, it's the same video that you're seeing here. And this should play with any sort of luck, which it does, which is great. Well, and you can share as well, obviously, through the normal Plex interface. So whatever is in my Samba share will appear here, depending on your classifications that you're select, selecting. Right. Um, I won't go through the Plex detail setup because obviously everybody has their own preferences. But again, there's your IP address, 192.168.3, port number 32400. And again, Going back to your jails, that's your IP address. Now the same thing with MB. See the port number is 8096. We can go to our server portal. You can see this uh, libraries. We can add a library. Movies, movies, you want to add. Now this is a little bit more straightforward because when you click on the four slash folder, you can actually navigate to that file and it makes a lot more sense. And this is how I actually picked up what I was doing wrong initially. So now we want to have the, just the media folder again. Okay, okay. All right. So now we have that added that library, we can go home, we can see the movies media file, and we can navigate. Okay. 
So that's pretty much it. I hope that's helped everybody out because uh, it certainly confused me. Um, if I've left anything out, please let me know and I'll try to uh, respond in the comments below. Um, yeah, so that does it. Um, it was quite straightforward. It literally takes 15, 20 minutes to do it once you know what you're doing. It's taken me three weeks to get this actually up and running to understand all the complexities and so on and so forth. I do want to set up a mini DNLA, which was part of NAT free NAS previously. It's not included by default anymore. There is a jail for it. Um, I'm still trying to understand how that's installed and how to get that up and running. But anyway, I hope that helps everybody out. Um, and therefore you can actually, uh, I'll just show you again, now that we've got the Plex Media Server up and running, we should be able to access the media server by going to network and we should be able to see the Plex Media Server and we can see our files in there and the other Plex Media Server is the top one here videos now this is the advantage of MB Plex is very fussy if it doesn't know the movie doesn't can't get the data the metadata it won't show up as a valid movie file which is really annoying to be perfectly honest you should have a, be able to have a generic where it just lists everything but it doesn't you can in some applications you can navigate by folder but here you can't so it's not great and some of the iOS apps etc are the same you can't navigate by folder and that's why you need tab MB because you can show all content so again we should be able to play this within Windows Media Player and it should stream it to the format that's compatible with your player okay all right thanks guys hopefully that's helped everybody out um, yeah, so good luck guys. Let me know. If you like the video, please like it below. Um, again, if you have any questions, just uh, I'll try and get back to you. Noting that I'm quite... I might not necessarily get back to you straight away. Alright, thanks guys.